uh, older generation that I didn't expect to, for them to pull me aside and say, you got something, you know, something special. And I guess that's what makes me happy to come back into the kitchen and do even better. Hi, I'm Richard, co-founder of Bachka. I guess it started when I was born. And uh, being second generation now, it uh, started in Melbourne. And my father was the butcher. He, uh, 14 years old, started, started uh, I still got old pictures of him pushing an old uh, wooden wheelbarrow with pigs full of pigs through the snow. You know, to, to the next, to the, from, the, from the abattoirs in the village to the shop to get produced in a wheelbarrow. Bachka was a province like uh, where there was, it was very multicultural and, and it was uh, known for uh, uh, the meat, meat place, you know, where, where, where dry meats were produced, uh, uh, old traditional, you know, small goods. It's a long term process, you know, it, it, it's something that doesn't take uh, a day to make or two days. It's, uh, a minimum of one month to two months of curing, of monitoring. Uh, but it's all because it's, uh, it's a slow process because of uh, non-additives, no, no preservatives. Uh, we use uh, one additive, which, we, which is a starter culture. And for those who know, you know, uh, cultures uh, play a big part in, in fermentation. Um, salt is another main ingredient. And old school, old school, you know, doing things on wood, uh, not, not on gas. Why not go back to old, the old school, you know? Of, let's light the fire. So we, we, we started at lighting the fire, you know, and, uh, and following through with just old school techniques. You know. Manufacturing, uh, it gave me a lot more satisfaction, I think, because then I had the option of uh, giving more, more to people and, and not just being secluded to one zone where I was limited in. Uh, I think through manufacturing I was able to expose myself. I think the company is a success now, even, even if it doesn't grow to any, any degree anymore. We, we cover now the eastern coast of Australia with uh, currently a, uh, an average of 50 to 60 farmer markets on the weekend and an average of 40 to 50,000 units a week. Uh, you know, the company has a, an amazing fleet. Of, of youngsters and seniors um, who take pride, uh, obviously, for one reason, because the product's good. I want people to understand this is, this is something really special. It's 98% it, of the ingredients are now Australian, and we're fighting for two more percent. We're not far, being 100% Australian. That's, that's where I want to pride myself and this company, that we're 100% we're Australian. This is, this is us, this is, this is the Gold Coast. This is what we, I'm gonna be proud of as an Australian Gold Coast company, producing, you know, here right on our doorsteps, the, the beautiful ocean that we have, you know, the climate we have. All I'm doing now is uh, focusing mainly on uh, uh, teaching and, and, and exposing to the new generation, you know, of something old school and uh, something that's, I believe that will, will take over in the future.